if you remember from the homework from the last video, you were supposed to find the diameter of the Earth in feet. We're going to do a little activity to demonstrate some of the capabilities of AutoCAD. And I'm going to come here to Google. Type in what is the diameter of the Earth in feet. And here I got a big long number that I'm going to uh, keep up on my other screen. I'm going to jump down here to AutoCAD and open up a new drawing. Application menu, new, find the desktop and locate the TD template. And again that loads all of our settings. Now one thing I want to emphasize is that AutoCAD has a lot of capabilities and when you talk about how big and how small you can draw things um, we're gonna take a, a quick look here uh, if I draw myself I'm about six feet tall so I'm going to draw a line six feet long So this line is six feet long. That's roughly about how tall I am. So if I come here and draw a person, this is going to represent me. Gotta have some arms. Alright, so this is me, and I'm six feet tall. I can measure the distance here, and it says that I'm six feet tall. And we're going to reference the Earth measurement, which is four one eight five one zero four nine I'm going to be drawing a circle center point with a diameter around myself to a measurement of four one eight five one zero four nine feet because we measured the earth in feet and press enter now that circle went really, really big, way bigger than me, obviously, and it went outside of my viewable work area. If you remember to get anything you've drawn back into your viewable work area, you can double click the wheel. So I'm going to double click the wheel, and that brings my drawing into my viewable work area. If I measure the distance of the earth I get 41851049 feet which is the size of the earth in feet approximately and as you can see I am really teeny tiny and if I zoom in and keep zooming in yep there I am teeny tiny I'm going to move my person to the top of the world and we'll try to zoom in here there we go and I am standing on top of the world and I can zoom back out and I'm all the way at the top. And that is Earth to scale. So that is actually the size that Earth is. And I'm on top of the Earth. So this demonstrates that in AutoCAD you can draw enormous things. You know, you could draw skyscrapers and battleships and really anything that you want. Um, but it illustrates that you can draw things really, really big. 
Now you can also draw things really, really tiny. And when we talk about uh, nanotechnology and um, you know micro computers, they have to draw those up as well. And they have to design those and they do that on the computer. Now I've been told that AutoCAD can actually, uh, if you do modify the settings, can go out 16 decimal places. So it'd be like point zero 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 one inches. Really, really tiny. Now if I go into my dimension styles and this is uh, stuff for down the road that you don't have to worry about now and I go to my primary units um, the general settings within AutoCAD you can go out eight decimal places which is really tiny um, and so this does illustrate that you know we can draw teeny teeny tiny stuff we can also draw huge things like earth Now the question is, can we draw something bigger than Earth? And the answer is yes, yes we can. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there is a drawing called the Solar System to Scale. And the premise behind this drawing was that back in the 1980s, they wanted to impress people with AutoCAD and with drafting software and drafting on the computer. So they wanted to develop this drawing where when they show this at trade shows and and uh, these demonstrations that it would just blow people away and it would wow people. So what they did is they drew the solar system to scale. So if we back out of our settings I'm going to minimize AutoCAD and bring up our course page, scroll to the bottom, and we have a, a section that says download the solar system to scale drawing. And we're going to right click, save link as. And I'm going to navigate to my folder, which is AutoCAD, and save that. And then in AutoCAD to open a previous drawing, I'm going to come up to the application menu. I'm going to select open, go back to my desktop, navigate to my folder. And right now I am on drawing template, so it's looking for drawings with the extension DWT. Well, I don't want to open a template. I want to open a drawing file .dwg. So when I open that, or when I select that, all of a sudden it populates my uh, folder with the drawings that I want. And I can open that drawing of the solar system to scale. Now, all of these blue rings are the orbit of each planet. And if you look in here, you can see some colored dots. And those are the actual planets. And we can zoom in. Now one thing with AutoCAD, when you zoom out really far and you zoom in really far, it will tend to pixelate the screen and the drawing a little bit so that the program runs a little faster. So here we can see our orbit patterns are not circular anymore. They're kind of jagged, rough uh, shapes. And I'm going to type in regen, R-E-G-E-N. And as I start typing, it automatically puts it in the command line down below. So I type in regen, and I'm going to press enter, and it regenerates the model. So let's zoom in. Let's zoom in over here. Zoom in. Again, I'm going to type in regen, R-E-G-E-N, enter. And zoom in some more. R-E-G-E-N, regen. Okay, so here we have the Earth. If we zoom out a little bit, we have a orbit around the Earth, which if we zoom in over here, is the Moon. And let's zoom out. Now, 
Another thing AutoCAD will do is it's not letting me zoom back out. I can zoom in, but it won't let me zoom out farther than this. So again, what we can do is we can double click the wheel and bring the entire drawing back onto our screen. And so then we can zoom in on another one. So let's check out this one down here. R-E-G-E-N regenerates it, zooms in, R-E-G-E-N. Okay, so here we have Saturn. That's kind of neat. They have the little uh, ring around it. Double click the wheel to bring us back. And you can explore this drawing um, just for fun. It's a, a good one to kind of show the capacity and the capabilities um, of AutoCAD.